This is not a peculiar stance that you'll see at Christ the Redeemer as thousands of people make their way up to the famous monument every single day looking to replicate the stance. It was late in 1922 before construction began in 1923. Pope John Paul II famously visited the statue back in 1980. Restoration began in 1990 before finally being completed in the year 2000. Being a rest day in the World Cup, it gives us and everyone else here the perfect opportunity to come and take a look at this amazingly captivating monument. Jimmy Tal even managed to find his own replica World Cup trophy, which seems to be doing the rounds up here. I think we're most uh, fortunate to actually have come through here on a Sunday. I actually got to see a prayer session taking place within the statue and I think for me it was just the most touching thing to actually realize that there's so much attached to just the statue that people actually come here and have serious prayer just to pray over Brazil and just hope that uh, the better would come out of it. On top of the statue, like I said, you are able to see the beauty that just surrounds Rio. Just to have the ocean running through the beautiful uh, buildings that surrounding Rio. And just the calm that's actually on top of Rio at this present moment. And just being part of here, just, it, it's so touching. It, it's such a great feeling being here. Monday serves as yet another rest day as we start looking forward to the semi-finals. Brazil, Germany, Netherlands, Argentina. Who's going to be in that final at the Maracanã come Sunday? Mark Lewis, Eyewitness News, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. As I turned older, I didn't want to give up and become a typical grandma. So I started the team for other grannies. The FIFA World Cup means a lot to our community. Even old people, they love soccer. And one day Coca-Cola surprised us at our practice with the real FIFA World Cup trophy. It was just amazing. 